What's up, physics fans? I'm James, and I'm going to be reacting to chapters 137 to 139 of Solo Leveling. So I've actually read like a good amount of this manga before, which is why we're starting on chapter 137. Um, it would have been nice to start recording from the beginning, but I didn't know I was going to be making YouTube <laughs> videos. So, you know, we're starting at 137, which is where I've left off. So it's, you know, we've got a couple of chapters to get through. Um, it's been a little while since I've read, um, but from what I can remember, uh, Jinwoo had just taken out the giants. Um, and I guess we're going to deal with the aftermath of that right now. And, you know, hopefully something exciting happens. I'm excited to see what happens, and I hope you guys are too. So let's jump right into it. Okay, we are on chapter 137. So we see the giant falling here. We get the, you have defeated the enemy notice. And he's gained at least four levels. So that's substantial. I think he's only in the low 100s right now. So that's still a lot of power gained. Okay. Oh, the message you have killed the owner of the dungeon didn't pop up, which means he has not defeated, you know, whatever is actually inside. Um, so it wasn't a complete dungeon break, I guess. There's still something inside. Presumably, probably, probably more powerful. He can't extract the shadow. Interesting. Why would that be the case? Ooh. All right, Beru. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's so spooky for a second. It looks, uh, he was a little worried as well. Oh, that's a lot of energy coming out of that gate. Yep. He's kind of shielding himself a little bit. Jinho safe. Okay, yeah, he's being protected there. Oh, so it's like just pulling in his energy. That's interesting. Have we seen anything like that before? Oh, it hurt him too. Wow. Was it the debris that cut him? Or the magical energy? All right, so Jinwoo's going to go inside. <laughs> he just leaps right through it. Oh. He looks a little, a little worried there. Wow, this is just beautiful art. Uh, just because it's big, yeah. I mean, it is for giants. This actually looks like, I, I feel like the, the biggest giant wouldn't have been able to move through this, but maybe. Ooh, something's laughing. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, he's just saying hilarious. Oh, who are the rulers? Monarch. Okay, we know he's the Shadow Monarch. We know that. Oh, there's other Monarchs, too. Okay, I think that was kind of hinted at before. Like I said, it's been a while. Oh, that's right, because he's not he's not really the Shadow Monarch, I don't think. He just took some of his, his powers. Oh, True War. Okay, so this is like just setting up the stage, I guess. Yeah, and this thing's able to communicate with him. He's getting limited communication, like with the um the Ice Elf, I think it was, or Dark Elf. I think it was an Ice Elf. Um he, he was able to get a little bit, but this is this is a lot more information already. Okay. So I guess the the monarchs are like these, you know, kind of evilish entities. Uh, you know, he's giant. Um, you know, Jinwoo has the shadow monarch, which appears to be some sort of like necromancy ability. So like probably a necromancer of some sort. Okay, so they've been watching him. So I wonder if the other monarchs are chained up like this as well. Or if there's a couple, you know, running around free, kind of like Jinwoo is. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't believe this guy either. Oh. Uh, 
Oh, okay. So there's um, a circle of truth kind of thing. Pledge of honesty. Okay. Okay, so he accepts it. Okay. So he says he'll help him. Uh, he's, not, he's not saying how he's going to help him, though. I still don't trust this guy. Also, he's... I feel like he's not as large as the other giants that we saw, which is sort of interesting. He's still quite big, but, you know, he's not gigantic. <laughs> Jinwoo can't lie either. Oh, the Chaos World. Okay. So I guess maybe they were, like, locked in this, like, limbo state of chaos or something like that and have been breaking out and getting released. Okay, so just remnants of the defeated armies. I and mean, we saw some of the clash in the previous chapters. Okay, so they just kind of like lost their sense of self and ability to communicate. I kind of got the feeling that they were prevented from communicating as well um, by like the system, possibly. Okay, so he still has his sanity, I guess. Okay, so okay, so those like angelic beings were the rulers. Okay, they're the soldiers of the rulers, so we don't know what the rulers actually look like. Okay, we are on chapter 138. Okay, so we're getting a little recap here. They were the soldiers of the rulers. Yeah, why why are they sending the, the monsters? This guy looks so smug. He kind of reminds me of um I think that one, that one American hunter, um, I think he's American. I forget his name. The blonde guy is like huge. Same though. He just kind of reminds me of that guy a little bit. Okay. So they're preparing for war. Okay. So they want to fight the monarchs again, but they had the monarch, at least this guy chained up. So, you know, what's up with that? I guess it, I, there has to be other ones free then, unless they're just that scared of Jinwu, which I don't. Then probably is not the case because he can't harness the full power. Okay, so they're injecting magical energy into the world. That makes sense, which is that's why hunters exist and you know they get those crystals too. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of background here. Yep, so it's just the magic crystals and magic stones. So I yeah, okay, that makes sense. I feel like they're they're giving humanity some weapons to fight back. I mean, I'm sure they're nowhere near powerful enough, but some of these, you know, national level hunters are pretty strong. Okay, so they just keep pumping energy into there. I mean, do the rulers need the energy to be in this world to be able to fight in it? Or do they just are they just trying to make it so like it's not so easy to destroy the, the planet because they want to rule it? I don't know why they would want to. Okay, so they do want to create a world strong enough to withstand the effects of war, but I, I just don't fully understand why they would want to do that. I mean, these feel like almost like cosmic beings to me to some degree. I mean, they, you know, they have a chaos world too. Um, so, yeah, I, I guess I, you know, I, I want to know what their motivation is for sort of almost like terraforming the Earth a little bit. They're just doing it to have a good smackdown with the uh, with the monarchs or throwdown, I guess, and, and probably maybe a smackdown. Ooh, Jinwoo does not like that. I love this art though. You see everything kind of burning behind him. His eyes look nuts. Oh, okay. So him just coming here has upped the stakes considerably. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I think the, um, I don't know if it was like the administrator of the, of the system, um, expected Jinwoo to be taken over by this shadow monarch, I think. And he wasn't, uh, I think he was more granted the power. Um, so I mean, both Jinwoo and I think also to some degree, the shadow monarch have, uh, maybe betrayed the monarchs. If the system was part of something that the the monarchs you know wanted or created okay so this guy will fight on his side 
Oh, you can see the the Shadow Monarch there. That's that's really cool. Okay. Oh, okay, so you can't turn him into a shadow. Yeah, I mean, I don't trust this guy at all, honestly. Oh, he's summoning his blade. Can he, like... I guess ignore the effects of the... Of the, um... The contract? I mean, I, probably not. There, there has to be some other angle here. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> he can't answer that one. Yep. Oh, Jin was going to kill your ass. <laughs> You're dead, dude. Oh, you were so dead. Oh, he's got something in his neck. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. So maybe the rulers were the ones preventing the other um, monsters from kind of divulging too much info to Jinwoo. You know, I guess maybe if they were powerful enough, they were able, they could resist to some degree. Oh, he tries to hit him, but he just dodges easily. Oh. And he still seems like he's pretty dangerous, even when he's chained up. Calamity isn't me, but you. I almost scrolled past that. Like, I, I saw it, but I didn't process it. What does that mean? Yeah, so like why why is you know why is Jinwoo part of the system and you know why was he given the the Shadow Monarch? If you know we see this monarch, he's by himself. There's definitely something weird going on here. And maybe it has something to do with this uh not so much threat, but like you know the statement that the calamity isn't me but you. Is Jinwoo going to end up destroying the world? Is the Shadow Monarch just that dangerous? You know, I wonder. I mean, it seemed like he was doing work against the uh, armies of the ruler when we saw the flashback, you know, to the, to the war. So I'm kind of curious to know what's going on there. I feel like this guy would be a handful if he wasn't chained up. <laughs> he's such an ass. I think he's still under the effects of the, the contract as well. You've defeated the dungeon master, okay. Okay, so there's nine mon monarchs. Regia. Regia? Regia? <laughs> Gotta process all the experience. Okay. Eight levels, at least. That's uh, twice as many as the other one. What did he take off of him? What was that? Hmm. Level 122 now. Okay. Leveling up. Oh, it's National Rank Hunter, okay. I don't know if we've seen him, seen him before. He doesn't look super familiar to me, but um, I kind of read in spurts, so. If I should know him, let me know in the comments, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to pay better attention. Okay, so this is pretty serious. Oh. Oh, that's ominous. So I mean we know she has um like the power to you know read the like power levels, I guess, of hunters to some degree, or at least you know their potential and stuff like that. Um so maybe she has some other sort of, you know, psychic powers or something. That'd be interesting. That'd be a cool, cool kind of thing. I mean, I don't know how reliable it could be.
but you know, maybe, maybe she get she's getting some visions or something of the future. He's trying to put them together. Um, okay, we're gonna move on to chapter one thirty nine. Okay, so once again, we're getting a little bit of uh, recap here. Oh, oh, he's pretty intense looking. All these guys look so intense um, <laughs> when they're a little threatened. That reminds me of Jinwoo in that panel. Um, she had a dream about him. Okay. Surrounded by a group of men. I wonder. I wonder if it could be like... Um, Somebody working with the, the rulers or the monarchs or something like that. Uh, he, he looks like he can't tell whether he should be pissed or if he should be scared. <laughs> She's got cool colored eyes. I mean, there's, there's a couple other like national, you know, authority rank, rank hunters. That could probably at least, you know, threaten him to some degree, but yeah, it wouldn't be easy. Okay. Yeah, he's just protesting here, but you know, maybe yeah, maybe there's someone who could help. Alright. Yeah, Jinwoo. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if he's stronger than this guy right now. I imagine it's probably pretty close. Some of the national hunters are like insanely powerful. Okay, so we get a little bit of um, Jin Wu's inner thoughts here. You know, he had a Philip King. Yeah, even even with the chains, he gave him a little bit of trouble. Not not a ton, but a little bit. I still don't know what he's holding here. This is, I mean, maybe it was shown before and I just missed it, but yeah, I'm kind of interested. Okay, so we're getting flashbacks to the the war that he saw before. And looks like people are starting to notice that he uh, he was able to clear this gate by himself, which is insane. Okay, so another giant was taken out by one of the hunters from China. Okay. Okay, so there's a hunter. There's a there's a party for the American hunters here. Okay, so, uh, well, this guy, he's the one I was talking about. He kind of looks like, the giant kind of looked like him a little bit. <laughs> he's just going to take his necktie. <laughs> he just, th he steals it, and he just throws it away. Oh. Oh, okay. So Ajahn's going to go to the some sort of guild conference. Oh, he's yeah, he's interested in Jinwoo. Yep. So he's taking a bunch of giants uh, into his army. Everybody's just <laughs> scared shitless. Oh, Jinho has got a call from an unknown number. Oop, something's got him a little spooked here. Uh oh. Hmm. Oh no. I mean, it's definitely something important. Oh. Oh no, his dad. His dad wasn't that nice to him, I guess. Yeah, so his magical power could make it worse, even though he's not that powerful on his own. Maybe that makes it even worse, actually. 
Oh, uh, Jinho, no. That's not true. I mean, there's nothing you could do about this. Jinwoo could do something about it. Oh. <laughs> he, was, he was keeping all the articles. He was proud of them, I guess. And maybe he wasn't great at showing it. Oh. That sucks. Jinwoo has to be watching this. He has to have shadows here. Oh. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know how much more of this he has. This is the only other one? It might be. Um, I forget how many he had. It's just a plot point previously. Um, what a guy, though. Honestly. And I guess Jinho has been by his side almost the entire time and has believed in him the you know the entire time too so yeah do that for your friends <laughs> yeah they have to keep this under under wraps i guess it didn't seem like anybody knew except jinhu maybe so it might be okay um that could go sideways pretty quickly. Um, Jinwoo, uh, you know, refused to do it for some very wealthy individuals. So, oh. <laughs> okay, so we just finished chapter one thirty nine, and we got some answers, but we also have a lot of questions still. So, you know, there's a couple of things I'm a little curious about. I want to know. You know, like where these other monarchs are? Are they in the world right now? Are they scheming as well? Or are they, you know, locked up like, you know, Regia was? Or, you know, or, or are they in people? Like, you know, like in Jinwoo. I'm, I'm kind of wondering that. Um, it's also interesting that, you know, it, it seems like the system is only there for Jinwoo. And he was mentioned that, you know, it was mentioned that he was the calamity himself. So, you know, I'm wondering if it's preparing him for something really bad that's going to happen. Or, you know, he might be the catalyst for something bad happening. So, <clears throat> so I'm kind of curious about, you know, what's going on with that, too. Um, you know, I kind of have the expectation that maybe that was the original plan and the Shadow Monarch didn't go, you know, go, you know, go along with it. And Jinwoo might be able to turn the tables a little bit. So that's, that's my hope. Um, because I think it would kind of suck if everything... <laughs> <laughs> was destroyed but i guess we'll i guess we'll find out um it also looks like we're building up to some sort of conflict between um you know jinwoo and the you know american hunter as well i forget his name maybe is it anders i think it might be anders um so you know i'm interested to see what's what you know what happens with that too i I imagine Jinwoo would be able to hold his own if there is, you know, some sort of confrontation. But again, these guys are really strong. So, you know, I don't I don't think it's a foregone conclusion that he, you know, he wins easily at the very least. So, yeah, I'm kind of I kind of want to see what happens with that. Um, yeah, so, you know, uh, I'll be, you know, doing these periodically. Maybe I'll do it every week. We'll see. Um, but make sure you like and subscribe and, you know, stop by next time, guys. I'll see you later.